they brought their fans, we brought ours. It was a good game, and uh, happy with the outcome. When you got out there, were you a little extra juice because of the opponent? I was actually surprisingly calm. Um, I got some advice from an old friend um, who played here, uh, Zach Follett, and uh, he called me. He, I called him last night. He told me to call him, and uh, he gave me some good advice and just told me, you know, being from Fresno and you know the game and the hype that everyone's been making it out to be. I, I knew he knew that I was going to be excited and, and amped up. And that can get you tired, so he just told me to stay calm. Breathe and wait for the game. Was Zach here today, or? Um, yeah, he was. So you didn't get overexcited and amped up? No, I, I just listened to what he said. I stayed calm. I just, you know, listened to calm music before the game. Usually, I listen to listen to some rock or some <laughs> some hip hop or something to get me amped up. But I just I changed up the my my, uh, my routine. What kind of calm music? Uh, oh. uh Some. Uh, <laughs> Cool jazz, some smooth jazz, some, some, some calm stuff. But you can't so try. A, a, cool, a calm linebacker doesn't seem to be a, a turn. I, I was overly excited for this game, so I just, I just wanted to relax, and because that's it can really, you can really waste your energy before you even get on the field, just letting your adrenaline pump through, you know, thinking about the plays and whatnot. And that's not what you want to do. Michael, how much is this first game kind of serving as a first step to? Forget about last season. It's, you know, it's good to get that taste out of your mouth, especially ending on a loss, not going to a bowl game. And uh, for me, this is a hometown game, and uh, it's nice. But uh, we have another game, and uh, we're looking towards that. We made a lot of mistakes today. It's our first game. I expected that. And uh, we should learn from them and get better. What did you think of the defense's overall performance? You had them under 200 yards as a family, seven or eight first downs. Uh, I'm proud of my D. Uh, my defense, uh, front seven, front front line did good. You know, front seven did awesome. Uh, DBs, you know, they held it down. Uh, had some freshmen in there making some plays. I'm really proud of them. I talked to you guys about that earlier about having the babies out there and how they're not used to the game and now they've been exposed. So we're only gonna expect more from them. Michael, talking about the babies, what are the message as a leader now and a senior on the team? What are you telling them right now? Um, I just let them know that it's not, it's not, it's not a game anymore. It's a, it's real life. You're here, yeah. Because they, they, you know, see their big eyes before they, they play the game, and I just tell them to relax. And once they get that first hit in, they'll they'll realize it's just like any other practice or game that they've been in. So I just tell them to be ready. Did you get the sense of trying to say it was a little bit area of your pass rush, a lot of like quick throws? And they have a young line. Um, they have a, um, they're a really big, big line. Um, they're just young, um, not as experienced as the people that have left, but uh, they'll be, they'll get better. Um, and as far as the the, the, the pressure, um, that was our plan to put pressure on the quarterback. You know, cars a good quarterback, and we have to do that. So yeah, you can say that. Do you see anything to Cecil after a, a forced fumble? I'm proud of Cecil. Uh, he made a great play today, and uh, I hope he makes more. Playing in the middle in this defense exceeds your expectations? Um, I still got a lot of work to do. You know, I made some mistakes with myself, and uh, I'm not too satisfied with my performance as far as messing up the plays. I'm, I'm expected to make plays, and, uh, you know, but the ones that you mess up on, those are the ones that you want to get better on. So I, I had some mistakes today. But uh, yeah, to answer your question, it exceeds my expectations. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that.